what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video so wide receiver contract extensions are just getting handed out at this point so we did a dk one we did a diva one so today of course gonna be doing a deontay johnson pittsburgh steelers rebuild after he was extended before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like at this one. Of course, subscribe if you're new around here. We're obviously just waiting till Madden 23, but for now, we're just kind of vibing on Madden 22 until Madden 23 is here. Got that on pre-order, so I'm excited to play that once it drops. But regardless, as we know, the Pittsburgh Steelers are having an open quarterback competition, it seems like, and it seems like Mitchell Trubisky will most likely win the job day one. But I'm just going to waste no time and just start Kenny Pickett right away because he's literally a better overall. So there's really no point of wasting any time. So let's just develop Kenny Pickett as much as possible for the Steelers rebuild. And then defensively, uh, this is where the strong suit is, obviously. We do definitely need some better corners. But for the most part, I'm feeling pretty good about how this defense looks. We're a 91% scheme fit on defense and only 66% on offense. So looks like we be an 87, though. So that's probably we're going to move it. Or 91 to a vertical zone run. And then defense be even better it can so we could be even better on the defense to a 95 percent uh three four they are three four under so we'll go ahead and run that this season so kenny pickett deontay johnson chase claypool Najee harris seems to be the future of the steelers roster there's still some more things we need to add on to this team but for the most part uh we're really liking what we're ha what we have here in pittsburgh and we have to hope kenny pickett can become something we have some veterans here as well but for the most part we're going to keep building from the ground up mike tomlin has always been a really good head coach. So with him behind me, I think we can accomplish anything. Let's see if we're good year number one or not. And then we'll do, you know, we'll go from there. So at the end of the season, we ended up going eight and nine. So this is the first time I think Mike Tomlin has finished under 500, if I'm not mistaken. So super unfortunate stuff. But yeah, we finished eight and nine on the season. So it looks like we need a little bit more work to do. But for the most part, we have to feel pretty decent at where we're at. So offense was 16th in the NFL defensively with 17 so middle of the pack for both sides i think we're kind of stuck in the middle right now to where we just need to add a couple pieces and we could literally be in a strong position so kenny pickett first year did a decent job he had a little bit more interceptions than i would have liked rushing wise Najee harris 19 touchdowns 1200 yards he has got superstar development which is really cool and receiving chase claypool deontay johnson calvin austin also had himself a really good year so that's cool and george pickens didn't get too much work but i'm kind of kind of wish he did regardless defensively uh, sacks wise we had about 11 from Cameron Hayward six from Alex Highsmith and not enough from TJ Watt so maybe I shouldn't be running that system I just ran because he did not get the sacks that TJ Watt usually gets I don't know I'm not the greatest defensive scheme person and know what I'm talking about when it comes to all that so let's get straight into the offseason where we have some work to be done we need corners we need a couple of things we need better offensive line like there are definitely some things we need to add on to this team and we have some calf space order to potentially make that happen and we should have our draft picks as well so we can maybe use some draft picks to make a trade if we want to just try to add some pieces to this defense add some pieces just to this team in general to be honest with you so offensively or uh, i guess for agency i should say anthony miller so nobody i really want to sign too much right here but like terrell Edmonds, i think i definitely want to bring back and then casey we could bring back but i may not but i'm going to sign terrell Edmonds back because he is our strong safety right now and he may not start or anything but i definitely I like him being here and i think i'm gonna let go of demonte so let's just go to free agency and just see what's available to us and kind of see what we need i know we need better offensive line help but 70 million dollars in cap space and then we should have like uh, a pretty early draft pick to add on as well so yeah james daniels and dodson is cool kevin dodson 25 and then james daniels i believe is like uh yeah he's 24 so you have to feel pretty good about what you have there then you have Kendrick Green at 23. So he could maybe become something Oka for 25. So I guess we have a young offensive line. So maybe we can get like one tackle or even we could just rely on this offensive line in general. It's uh, like super young. So maybe we don't even worry about the offensive line too much. Just continue to let them develop. That could be something for us defensively. Uh, defensive tackle needs some work uh, for sure. And then corners with her spin up to the star development and then maybe even getting a better strong safety. I like my linebacker core a lot, like love it a lot. So well, we'll see. I'm going to just check out free agency and just see what's available to us and just see if we can get better in any way in free agency, maybe via the trade market, the draft. We have all sorts of avenues to try to get better here. So like Jason Kelsey, I think I'd rather just rely on my young offensive line. We don't have to rely on offensive line too much at all that we could just maybe just maybe instead just try to get like depth at this point. So defensive tackles was one thing I know we definitely needed. So like Linval Joseph, Larry and Joby, Maurice Hurst, Michael Brocker. So like there's some options here that I think we should definitely go after. Even Doug at 24 years old. But I like the idea of getting Larry on Joby here. 
for this team at 20 years old i think he kind of fits perfectly to what we could possibly use on that defensive line that doesn't totally take us out of potentially drafting one as well cameron hayward's only getting older so may not be a bad idea to add like another end and i see akeem hicks here and honestly no offers i think he'd be like one of the most perfect veterans you could add to a team like this so cameron hayward and akeem hicks on the defensive line sounds like uh, a breath of fresh air to me and then Jalen brown quan alexander and then corners the cornerback free agency market is not that great we could sign like a kyle fuller or a verrett but at this point i think i'd rather just sign a corner we also have landon collins and ronnie harrison in free agency i'm going to add some more strong safety depth with ronnie harrison here add him to the team and he should be like another strong safety to go alongside uh what we have already in terrell edmonds or tremaine edmonds whichever one we have i think it's terrell edmonds right okay now we need to trade for a corner because i want to get a corner here i think we need a, a number one type corner but i'm feeling pretty good about the offers we made in free agency but i i, I feel like we need a good lockdown corner like we need a number one so that is what i'm going to look for via the trade market it says we don't need a corner but i think we do very badly so uh, our corners right now aren't terrible but i think if we could have like a number one type corner and maybe draft one as well so we have a 16th overall pick so i'd be comfortable trading my second round pick get like a really good corner if possible i said i needed a corner and we are going for it just like this we're trading two first round picks and a third round pick in order to acquire jalen ramsey from the los angeles rams so i don't know if we needed to do that but i don't trade for jalen ramsey that often and he was available the rams were willing to trade him so why not get us get just make our secondary that much better jalen ramsey minka fitzpatrick and we had ronnie harrison akeem hicks this defense just got even scarier with adding jalen ramsey so i'm feeling pretty good we traded our first round pick in order to get jalen ramsey that was the biggest need i think we needed anyway was a corner and jalen ramsey definitely helps out with that and that just like puts us in a way better position so now this is your offense which is looking great and then defensively yeah jalen ramsey to the mix superstar x factor and look at this defense man what more could you want akeem hicks will start opposite of cameron hayward and you got some veterans on this defense and this defense is looking very very good i'm i'm in love right now so now all we need to do is go in the draft use our second or third round pick acquire two hand development players to add on to whatever it may be like we'll probably just draft best available at that point because we do have some veterans that we can't rely on forever to be here on the defense but man am i feeling good about after trading for jalen ramsey so our draft pick situation next year won't all be all that great just another typical crashing in madden but let's head to the draft let's get two players add on to this offense or defense and we should be a playoff team year number two hopefully so we did trade our first round pick which means we don't have one but we are going to have a decent second round pick that i think we can acquire a really good player here so honestly not really looking for anything in particular just like kind of what's here is what we'll take so we have marvin mims we have logan brown we have jordan burst like there's a lot of good options here but honestly i want to kind of go down the board a little bit and i'm looking at alfred collins and i know the man is an absolute stud i don't think i can rely on cameron hayward and akeem hicks forever so i'm going to take alfred collins with this pick and bring him in on depth on the defensive line so feeling really good about that pick and then round three i want to be a banger pick as well so round three pick 16 depending on what's here if marvin mims is still here which he won't be i definitely would have taken him and we have Julius bulo so that's another offensive guard we could get that would be a hidden development torrance as well ej williams like demonte i like i could take I feel like I should take offensive line just in case one of these guys don't work out. Or I could take another tight end and add another weapon for uh, Kenny Pickett. We have Keon Zipperer. I've never taken him before. And we have a lot of scouting on him. And he actually looks pretty decent. So you know what? I'm going to take Keon here. He is a hidden development tight end. So we get two tight ends, another weapon for Kenny Pickett. And then after that, we have like no draft picks other than the seventh round. So I'm just going to get out of here. We add Keon. We add Alfred Collins. So that's two players that should help out our future help out immediately as well feeling really good about how this offseason just went for us and hopefully that leads us to being in the playoffs our division is tough but we're gonna get there so at the end of this season kind of another disappointing season to be honest with you we went seven and ten which means we did not make the playoffs once again so another back-to-back -back year of finishing under 500 with the Steelers roster which is quite disappointing I have to see where we went wrong and we had to figure out what's going on so let's go look at the stats and kind of see what went what happened so offense was 10th in the nfl so that's promising defensively we were 13 so both sides of the ball were good maybe it's just our division is that tough we just have to stay patient i mean just continue to get better is all you can do Najee harris 1500 14 Deontay johnson had a good year pickens 900 yards 900 800 so that's all handy dandy sacks wise 
Uh, we had a better year. Well, Cameron Hayward, a better year from TJ Watt, seven from Akeem Hicks, seven from Larry Onanjobi. So not sure what's going on. Have not made the playoffs just yet. And it is quite disappointing so far, but we are going to keep it going until we can finally get there. So our draft pick situation isn't the greatest this off season after that Jalen Ramsey trade. So we'll have to figure it out, but we do have cap space. So that should be good because cap space being opened up right now should help us increase our chances of getting better because we need to resign players and then we're going to need to add players. So let's see what we got. We have uh, Mika Fitzpatrick, Miles Jack. Okay, a lot of, okay, a lot of guys actually. So quite a few players we need to resign. So let's get to work here. So Minka Fitzpatrick is definitely the top of my wish list right now. Definitely going to bring back Minka Fitzpatrick. No reason not to. He is not going to, oh, he's going to free agency. Okay, so should have increased his offer, but I do want Miles Jack back as well at 27. He is back. That's good. Uh, Devin Bush, also want him back as well. So I'm going to sign Devin Bush to an offer. So hopefully we can get him. And then I think I'm going to gamble on Witherspoon in free agency. And then the rest of these guys I'm going to gamble on as well. Uh, and then as far as uh, Mika Fitzpatrick concerned, it would cost us $16 million, which I think was what I was going to give him. So... I'm going to franchise tag him. That way he doesn't walk to free agency and I don't lose him. So that would be the best thing to do right now. And then I guess Chris Boswell, we should probably just get our kicker back. And that's going to put us around 40 million, give or take. But I'm happy to have Mika Fitzpatrick again. So never mind. We don't even get Chris Boswell, whatever. So let's just go to free agency and let's just see what we can get in free agency. So I want to add another good corner, I think, if we're not going to get Witherspoon back, like another really good corner. And then offensive line is maybe just something we should try to make better if we just really can't see them develop too much. So, I mean, Green's gone up to a 77. Okafor has gone up to an 80, 75. So not too bad. Zipper. So offense, I'm really not worried about at all. I'm feeling really good about the offense other than the line. Defensively, I really like everything we have here. Corners is the biggest issue. Cameron Hayward, Akeem Hicks looks like they're going to be good for another year. So you know what? If we just get like a couple of good corners, and then maybe add an offensive lineman if we really need to. I, that's what my dream scenario is. So two corners and one offensive line with our $41 million in cap space. Unless there's just something else out here that blows me out of the water. So Quentin Nelson is somebody that would be awesome. Brian Burns is also out here. That's cool. Terry McLaurin, Lamar Jackson. Terry McLaurin should be on extension. Okay, but offensive line. So Ed Oliver's here as well. Oh my goodness. Garner Johnson. But corners. Corners is the biggest problem. We have a lot of good offensive linemen. So Sean Murphy Bunting immediately stands out to me at 26 years old. Somebody I definitely want. So I'm going to go with Sean Murphy Bunting to get him here to be my second corner with Jalen Ramsey. And then Greedy Williams at 25. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to get him. And that leaves us about $25 million to spend on the rest of what we want. So Greedy Williams and Sean Murphy Bunting should be my new corners, which is great. And then we had a lot of good talent. So Offensive line. So my weakest right now is the tackle. So do we have any good tackles? Because my center and my guards aren't bad at all. So I don't really need a guard. Nate Davis. And then we have Jack Conklin, George Font. So Jack Conklin would be an upgrade, which is what we kind of need, which I think I'm going to go for him. So Jack Conklin shouldn't cost me too much. And who knows that might be, that might leave me enough to go after Ed Oliver because I kind of want him. So let's do that. And then last but not least is I'm going to go for Ed Oliver. I don't know how much he wants exactly, but man, oh man, would he be a stud to bring to this team. So I'm going to offer Ed Oliver a contract, 116 total points. We're barely as normal offer. I mean, do I go cut somebody to make this happen? I think I do. I want Ed Oliver so bad. So if that's what it takes, I'm going to do it. So let's go cut somebody. Let's see. Cameron Hayward. Uh, we got Mika Fitzpatrick. I'm not going to cut. We have TJ Watt. A backup quarterback that is making five million. Yeah, you can go. Thank you for your services. But I'm gonna go increase my offer in Ed Oliver, and then we should be able to get all of them, hopefully. So that is going to be the plan. So Ed Oliver, let's increase my offer on him, and then we should acquire these four players, and then we should be golden. So we get Ed Oliver on this contract. I'll be super ecstatic right now. So that should increase my offer, and boom, we're the number one in all four spots. All right. We should get all of them. We should have a really freaking good team. And then we should finally be destined for a playoff spot, hopefully. So let's see if we get all four of them. Ed Oliver, Jack Conklin, and then the two corners. We love it. We got all of them. That adds on to what we already have. And our cap space situation is probably going to be uh, in the toilet next year, to be honest with you. So resigning players next year is going to be really tough. Mika Fitzpatrick will be up for a new extension. So 
yeah, we definitely probably have one more crack at this. So let's see what our team looks like. So Jack Conklin just adds a, a little bit to the offensive line. So um, Okafor could start on the other side if it, it needs to. Our Conklin moves over. That's fine as well. So I'm feeling good about the offense and defensively. I mean, adding Ed Oliver to this mix and then having depth and defensive line, adding Sean Murphy Bunting and Greedy Williams, feeling really good. So hopefully this team can make the playoffs year number three. It is a long time coming. I'm just going to go straight past the draft because I'm already feeling very confident about my lineup. So this point, let's just get to year number three. Let's go make the playoffs. Go win a championship. Let's get it done. So at the end of the season, if you look at the AFC North, the Cleveland Browns went 17 and 0. Okay, Cleveland, I guess I see you. I tried to do a couple 17 and 0 rebuilds, and I couldn't do it. I mean, I like I said, at one time I did go 17 and 0 with the Raiders, which was so random, but I did it. It was an accident, but I did do it. So we went 13 and 4 though. I have to look at Cleveland's roster though, real quick. I have to look at what they have going on in Cleveland that they are 17 and 0 right now. So they have Deshaun Watson at QB, who has been suspended. You have Nick Chubb, Jamar Gibbs, I think is how you say it. So they got some depth at running back. They have Amari Cooper, Peoples Jones, Demarcus Robinson. No, so not the most overpowered wide receiver core. The Joku. I'm at at this point. I'm just taking notes. So good left tackle, good left guard, decent center, great right guard, and decent right tackle. Okay, Clowney and Sawyer. You have Miles Garrett and Emmett Evans. You have Perion Winfrey and. I mean, they just have a lot of depth, honestly. So is that what the key is to going 17-0? Just having like a ton of depth at this point? I took Greedy Williams from them. Man, what a team in Cleveland. But regardless, let's go look at our stats and let's see how we did this year. So we ended up being a good team finally. Offense was middle of the pack once again, which is kind of where we've been. 18th in the NFL. And then defense was 7th. Let's go top 10 defense. 39-14 from Kenny Pickett. So really solid year up to an 85 overall. Rushing wise, Najee Harris, 1,300 yards, 7 touchdowns. Johnson and Claypool, both 1,000-yard wide receivers, and George Pickens had 12 touchdowns as well. He's up to an 83 with a morale boost. And defensively, sacks-wise, uh, six and 16 and a half from Ed Oliver, which is great. We got him in free agency. He ended up being fantastic for us. 12 and a half from Cameron Hayward. And then TJ Watt's been very underwhelming. Maybe it's what I'm doing that's the problem. I don't know. Eight and a half from Alex Highsmith, though. So let's go ahead and see if we can come out here and win week one. We don't even get a home game after going 13 and four, which is literally insane. So wild card weekend going up against Lamar Jackson and the Jets. Okay. So Lamar Jackson is a New York Jet. So it's no longer Zach Wilson starting. If we lose in round one, I'm going to be upset. But here we go, man. It is in New York. And hopefully in Madden 23, I think they have fixed the problem where so far not good regardless. But the, I think they fixed the problem where quarterbacks won't just sign somewhere randomly. Like Lamar shouldn't sign with a team that already has a quarterback. But I don't know. Madden 23, I have high expectations. We'll see if they meet it. But we're down 7-21 to 21 so far. And the Jets look like they're about to just literally embarrass us here. 7-24. to 24. Like, do I need to come out here and do it for you, Kenny Pickett? Like, what is going on? I don't know why you're struggling so bad. We just went 13-4 and four and we're literally about to just get blown out by the Jets, man. And they have Lamar Jackson. I mean, we know Lamar Jackson. We are all too familiar with Lamar. Bro, I, at this point, I literally didn't even see Jordan Whitehead there. He literally blend, bro. I'm not jump. I, I'm officially just not jumping into games anymore, man. I am so trash. I literally, it's like a constant cycle with me. I come out here, I throw interceptions. It's like guaranteed. It's like what I do at this point. Like, why do I even play this game? I am trash. I will admit it. At least when I'm like recording, I'm very trash. I feel like when I play by myself, I can be decent. I don't know, man. Maybe I am trash. Who knows? All right, let's see if I can get something going here. And bro, 60, can he pick it at 66 yards in this game, bro? Like, what are we doing, man? Like, we just literally not moving the ball at all. Like, the Jets are literally clamping us up this much. It's the New York Jets for crying out loud. No disrespect, but I honestly, I don't have a care in the world right now. I'm literally throwing up to Deontay Johnson, and he is going to come down with it. All right, I'm, I'm, uh, it's. I, I'm not playing this game ever again as far as jumping is concerned. I will stick to the simulating and letting the CPU deal with it because I am terrible. I'm getting off. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.